for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon hello everyone my name is virin dayal i'm a custom broker of acuity and a trainer based at mumbai after having talked about the regulatory aspects of animal quarantine the next topic naturally which follows through will be the topic on plant quarantine that is under the destructive insects and the pest act 1914 the pfs order of 1989 and the plant quarantine regulation order of 2003 all these talk about when the plants come into india how they should be treated before they are cleared for home consumption let us now begin with the process how the plant quarantine is cleared from india so under these three main acts no plant can come into india unless it is covered by a phytosanitary certificate from the country of import so if i'm bringing something from china i must have a plant quarantine certificate equivalent to the plant quarantine certificate of our country from the country of import giving the details of the fumigation carried out and the kind of plant it is and so on with a few exceptions to cut flowers garlands and bouquets which are normally for personal use up to a 2 2 kilos per consignment can be allowed without going through the plant quarantine certificate from the country of origin so under the swift module when an import takes place the importer or the authorized agent will notify in the e sanction document that certain plants of a certain category are being imported by the uh, by them and accordingly the uh, under the single window the pq that is the plant quarantine department will be triggered about the arrival of a certain kind of plant in india this must be done before the plant arrives into india all nsc documents like phytosanitary certificate the details of country of origin the invoice the packing list the bill of lading and of course the bill of entry must be filed in advance especially for plant quarantine consignments so that necessary preventive action and uh, required action under these three laws can be taken by the authorities the normal inspector will draw samples for which the necessary arrangements will be made by the importer or his agent and the samples will be taken for further testing in the lab by the inspector appointed under the pq regulations if required the inspector can also call for fumigation of the product before the out of charge is given to that particular import of a pq product once it is established that the plant is free of pest it will be allowed for clearance for home consumption and if it is found infested by pest then the officer will order for fumigation of a certain kind of uh, fumigate a certain kind of insecticide pesticide or weed side and only upon treatment and rechecking the sample the custom out of, out of charge can be obtained but if the plant is infested even after that then the plants cannot be cleared for home consumption they have to be destroyed or re-exported also as per the plant quarantine order no product which is packed with wood will be allowed to be cleared unless the ispm standards that is the international uh, standards for phytosanitary has been complied with and the pallets or the wood products are adequately fumigated or they are covered with the heat treatment certificate from the particular country that they are pest free till that time they cannot be cleared for home consumption if the wood and the wooden products are not fumigated prior to arrival in india the plant and the pq officer can uh, order fumigation of methyl bromide and after 24 hours of treatment only then the goods can be cleared for home consumption so these are the regulatory features of pq under the customs act 1962 Thank you. For detailed learning of all logistics subjects, visit www.logiveda.com.